I guess how easy was the decision for you to sign on for another two years? Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, it didn't take too much convincing. Um, I've loved my time at the club so far. You know, I love the boys and I love where we're going. So, um, yeah, as I said, it wasn't too much convincing, and I'm really happy that the club's given me this opportunity. Congratulations, mate. Was it a matter of the club coming to you, or does your manager go to the club? How does that sort of conversation play? Out? Um, I think the club might have come to me. I'm not too sure. I kind of leave that to my manager and the. Um, club list managers to kind of sort out themselves but um, yeah when my manager told me I was obviously really happy and um, yeah it didn't take me too long to sign. I guess it's your first year in the competition how have you seen your own form there's a bit of murmuring that you're going to be an All-Australian 40 um, how does that feel for you as a first year player? Um, yeah I think the boys have really helped me out a lot this year I've said it a lot um, you know Tom Duday's helped me out a lot and he continues to do so um, but yeah I'm just focusing on you know, being consistent for the rest of the season, I suppose, and putting some good performances together and just playing my role, so, yeah. What was mum and dad's reaction like when they found out? Yeah, they were obviously very excited. Um, they're massive Crows fans as well. They have been their whole life, so um, for me to hang around for the next two years, um, they were just as happy as I was. I guess how much confidence does it instill in you as well that the club is so committed to you? Yeah, yeah, obviously it is nice. Obviously the club wants me to hang around a little bit longer as do I. So, um, yeah, I'm really fortunate for that. Um, and I guess it gives me a little bit of confidence as well. I guess they've locked down so many of you young boys over the past kind of week and a half. Um, yeah, how much confidence is that for you guys? And how do you think you're going to go going forward? How much, yeah? Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, no, nah, it's a good, I guess, teller to where the culture's going towards the club. You know, we all want to be here. We all want to be part of something special. Um, and I guess we kind of sense that success isn't too far away. Um, we're just going to keep striving for that and, um, yeah, hope for the best. What expectations did you set for yourself for your first year and how far beyond, if you have, have you gone with mm. the expectation? Yeah, it's pretty difficult to set expectations, I suppose, in your first year. You're not really too sure what to expect. Um, I guess going into the start of the season, I just wanted to play a single game. So um, playing all the games so far, um, it's been you know, a big achievement for me, um, definitely haven't taken it for granted and you know, I'm really enjoying it. What have you learned, Max? Um, I think, I feel like we as a team play better when we're all looking after each other and things like that, so it's more than just an individual effort, you know, it's a team effort and when we play as a team, um, we always come out on top. And personally, do you, I mean, it, you would give a first year player a bit of a leave pass in terms of making a mistake or two, but you fit it in so well. Is there, Something you've learned about how you play and what it takes to be successful, that's come so mm. quickly to you? Yeah, as you just touched on, you know, mistakes will happen um, and, you know, it's embracing that. There's good players around the con that are going to do good things on you, I suppose. They're going to beat you in certain areas. Um, it's just kind of moving on to the next contest and focusing on what you can control and going from there. Hasn't really happened to you too often, has it? I have. Or, I don't know. I'm trying my best, but, um, yeah, every player I'm seeing is obviously a really good talent, so, yeah. Uh, looking in sort of all those younger boys, do you feel like it's a bit of a baby bombers era for you guys? Um, yeah, we've obviously spoken about that. That's all what we're striving for to win, a, I guess, a premiership as soon as we can. Um, obviously, we're working towards that. But you know, as I said, there's a real good culture around the group at the moment. We all want to be here, and we're all loving um, where we're going at the moment. Was a reaction like from the uh, boys? Was it announced to everybody? Yeah, yeah, they announced it um, this morning in the team meeting, so all the boys got around me and um, yeah, it makes me feel pretty special, so. And have you played any sort of footy at the MCG before? No, I haven't. I've been there once as a spectator and I'm um, looking forward to playing there, um, obviously if I get selected this week. Do you guys feel like you do see a bit of yourself in that 93 grand final team? Um, I don't know, I haven't really put too much thought into it, but I guess, you know, why not? Um, why not us? I feel like we've all got the talent um, and we're working really hard, so um, yeah, fingers crossed we can get it done as soon as we can. Who would you get on Sunday? Jamie Elliott? Um, yeah, I'm not too okay. sure. I guess I have to speak to the coaches and hopefully I'll get selected and we'll go from there. I think you might get selected. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs>